What's up everybody? We have a short video for you today. There was a small thing I forgot to mention in the previous video, so let's go ahead and fix that now. Let's hop over to Visual Studio and open our character.cpp file. We forgot to initialize our ability system component, but lucky for us, doing so is easy. We just type ability system component equals create default sub object you ability system component and then give it a name. I will call mine ability system component. We always want to make sure that our code is multiplayer ready so we'll also add the lines ability system component set is replicated to true and ability system component set replication mode e gameplay effect replication mode full. In a later video, I'll go over in more detail about the replication mode, but for now, we'll just set ours to full. Now we aren't done. We need to go over to our character.h file and implement the ability system interface. We do so by typing public i ability system interface. With that interface added, we need to implement the interface's methods. Lucky for us, there's only one. We just type virtual class U ability system component, get ability system component, const override. Finally, we add the implementation for the get ability system component method in the character.cpp file, which is simple. We just return the ability system component and we're all done. We just needed to make that quick fix before we can move on to our next tutorial. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next one.